other people on stage for her to be clever with. She's just some nut standing there talking to herself. <laughs> we'll check into it. What are you people doing sitting around? Come on, this is D-Day. This is not a drill. You told us we were in the way. And I'm about to tell you again. Where's your father? Probably in the car. Well, did he finish the poem he's supposed to read during the evening gown competition? I don't know. Oh, no. What is this, a game to you? Well, if it is, it isn't a very fun one. Well, look, I'm sorry you're not having a good time, but unless all the horses are pulling in the same direction, I'm never going to win this thing. What do you mean by I'm never going to win? I mean your mother, Kitty. I, me, I couldn't care less. <laughs> Take a last look before I load her in the car. <laughs> oh, my God, her eyes are all puffy. Did you let her have salt? She had a bag of pretzels taped to the back of the toilet tank. <laughs> I did not put them there. They must have been Edwards. You know, I don't think you want to win. I do, I do, I do. Well, winners don't eat things that they find taped to the back of toilet tanks. <laughs> Jane, go slap a couple of tea bags under those eyes, and you two, go find Edward and hold him upside down until a poem falls out of him. Mother, I think you look beautiful. Thank you. Did you not hear me? You married your mother. <laughs> Dad, you, you've had three weeks to write this thing. But what's wrong with it? It rhymes. Roses are red, violets are pretty, the gal in the dress is my wife, Kitty. You got a gift, Ed. It was easy once I got to pretty. And Tupac's compassion garnished with a sprig of generosity. And that, Gary, is my recipe for a better world. Well, that's a, a spoon that I'd like to lick. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Kitty Montgomery. This is Elaine Bartlett. Oh, the thrill of competition. Wasn't I wonderful? I was poised. I was confident. Yeah, that was all good. I think you strayed a little bit from our speech. This is showbiz. I was ad-libbing. The judges may have been confused when you ad-libbed the phrase Catholics and other people of color. <laughs> really? I thought that was rather liberal. Okay, let's not dwell on it. I think we still have a really good shot to win this thing. Okay. Now, this is Francis Weber. Yes, that's Ginger. Oh. <laughs> We're dead. Hard as a cop. Why? Daddy, why? <laughs> Come on, Dad, you've got to write this poem. I'm sorry, I just don't know what to say. Okay, when, when you first met Mother, what were you thinking? Exactly, what was I thinking? <laughs> I mean, what did you think of her? Well, I... I thought she was kind of stacked for a skinny girl. Well, what is she, about a B cup? C cup. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry, I came here to support Kitty, but I just couldn't watch that exploitation of women one second longer. I agree. It's different when you have the young ones in bathing suits. Larry, that's worse. Yes, it is. Worse than different. <laughs> well, I agree with Abby. Kitty doesn't need to traipse up and down a stage to prove how beautiful she is. She's beautiful every moment of the day. In the morning, when she's sipping her tea in the garden. And... Don't stop. Tell us more. Write down everything. Got it. Sometimes oh. when I look at Kitty, I can't believe how lucky I am to be married to such an angel. I hope you're getting all this down. I'm on top of it. So many wonderful moments. Don't miss a word. He's half in the bag and he'll never remember it. <laughs> My heart is full. That's why I'm sharing these words of love for my dear wife, Sharon. <laughs> Wasn't that lovely, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so very much. Sharon and Sharon Wiley. Hey, we're up. You have your poem. Larry. Jane, Jane, Vaseline, Vaseline. And now, Mrs. Kitty Montgomery and a poem written by her husband, Edward. Okay, okay, okay. Who's the queen? I'm the queen. Who's got the power? I've got the power. Go, 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 go. Sometimes when I look at Kitty, I can't believe how lucky I am to be married to such an angel. I hope you're getting all this down. <laughs> I'm on top of it. 
so many wonderful moments. Don't miss a word. He's half in the bag. He'll never remember it. Like the day I first saw her. Shouldn't we go back in there and watch grannies on parade? Hey, that's not nice, but it's true. Who ordered the Jägermeister? I did. Oh, Larry, are you going to drink? No, thanks. Nuts, give me gas. Thank you, Mrs. Kitty Montgomery. It's over. Maybe not. And now, finally in our talent competition this evening, a woman whose courage has been an inspiration to all of us this evening, Mrs. Frances Weber will now sing Looking Through the Eyes of Love while signing the words for the benefit of her hearing-impaired adopted Cambodian daughter. It's everything. What are you doing? Exposing a fraud. I can see what's mine now. What the hell is she doing? I don't know. I hardly ever know. 